This is a Wiley's wireless car charger. It's capable of fast wireless car charging. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box, see what it comes with. So once you get everything out of the box, it comes with this windshield or dash mount arm that lets you move it and configure wherever you want the charger. This is pretty nice. It's pretty big, so it looks like it maneuvers well. It comes with an actual USB charging cable. It comes with a vent clip, which is kind of neat. It's actually, you push this down and you can actually clip it like that instead of just one of those clips that you just kind of push real hard into your vents. Uh, this looks like it'd be less likely to break your vent. And then here is the actual mount and it just mounts to the little knob either on the vent or the knob that's on this arm. Of course it comes with the manual and then it comes with this sticky pad so that way if you wanted to mount it to something like let's say your dash or something like that, you'd have that available to do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the car and see how well it does. All right, so I went out into the garage and I decided the best placement for this charger is gonna be using the vent mount and right here on the vent. So right now where this is sitting, it's got a perfect view from the steering wheel and it doesn't block or get in the way of anything else. The vent actually can still move back and forth because of the way I have it mounted on there and it's mounted pretty sturdy. But usually one of the problems you have with these car chargers is you're over there, you're like squishing into the phone, trying to get it to mount in. You're, you're having to pull things out, you know, to get it to just slide in. Well, one, this is an induction charger, so you don't have to mess with the cable. I've already got the cable nicely routed down to the bottom of a USB port on her console here, and it's tucked away out of the way. So that's not a problem, the wire's done. And if you see down here, the wires ran up through the bottom. So it's actually just attached to that. Did you see that? <laughs> so if you touch this device, it opens up for you automatically to let you put your phone in there. Well, the reason that's important is because that's one of the biggest pains of putting your phone in your charger on your car is one, getting it squished into the to the phone charger and then two fumbling around with the cable trying to get it in there well now she doesn't have to do that so to add to this you don't actually have to even touch the side you can touch the side over here and that's how you would take the phone out if you want to put the phone in all you got to do is move the phone in front of this and this little eye here detects that you're trying to put your phone in and just opens up for you now, of course, to remove your phone, since the eye will already be covered, you just run your finger right over here on the side where the light is, and it will open up. I grabbed her phone, touch it, you put the phone there, and even with her big bulky case that I do not like and I would not put on my phone, but even with her bulky case that she has on there, it still induction charges just fine and it still fits in the arms. The arms still will spread wide enough to fit her phone. And it fits just fine in there, even with the big rubberized case that she has around it. So, and if she wants to take it out of there, she just comes over here, touches the side, it pops the arms open, and now it's off. This is really cool. It's automatic, I really like it. This video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching, and y'all take care.